Welcome to Biz Help For You with host Candy Messer. Entrepreneurs like to focus on the big picture, like profitability, success, and a smooth running organization. But there always seems to be those little things like taxes, employee compensation, laws, regulations, and more. Now you can get the answers you need in one place. Join us today as we break it all down for you. Now, here's your host, Candy Messer. Hello and welcome to Biz Help for You with Candy Messer. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you found the information on our last episode. If you are unable to join us and would like to listen to the show, links can be found on our YouTube and Facebook pages, as well as multiple favorite podcast platforms. If you'd like to receive notifications on when our podcasts have been uploaded, please like and subscribe. As I mentioned on the last episode, this week's show is a little different as I recorded multiple interviews in one day at an event. And because of the limited time for each, I recorded the content without the bio. So let me give a little info on my guest before getting into the recording. Gary Rogers has been a professional speaker for over 50 years. He's also a former executive in the television production motion picture industry. Gary has produced TV commercials, infomercials, and corporate videos for many of the world's largest corporations, including AT&T, Motorola, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Procter & Gamble, Toshiba, Toyota, Honeywell, Blue Cross, Siemens, Coca-Cola, and many more. As a former training manager with 3M Company, Gary taught public speaking and presentation skills. Using revolutionary new technology, Gary continues to provide presentation skills training in virtual classes on the internet. Gary is a master teacher and director. In his production career, he has had the opportunity to direct many Hollywood stars, including Academy Award-winning actor Charlton Heston. Now to the recording of today's episode. So Gary, welcome to the show today. Thank you, Candy. Good to be here. I'm excited to have you. It's going to be an interesting topic. Um, but before we get started, I'd love for you to share just a little bit more about yourself than I have in your bio and how you got into working with entrepreneurs. Well, I spent most of my life in the television production motion picture industry. Um, I used to produce television commercials, infomercials, and corporate videos. My clients included some of the great companies in the country, AT&T, Motorola, Mitsubishi, Coldwell Banker, uh, Procter & Gamble were just a few of my clients. I sold my business about 13 years ago and retired. That lasted all of two weeks. I got so sick of just sitting around doing nothing. I knew I had to do something else. And just then, uh, webcams were starting to become popular on the Internet. And the bandwidth was such that it would support just about anybody that had an Internet connection anywhere in the world. Uh, I thought, well, that's something that I could do. So I've been coaching people uh, for the last dozen years now in how to build a successful business using nothing but a simple webcam. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, let's actually get into questions, you know, regarding that, because I'm sure people are hearing the name of the topic and they're like, wow, I'm really interested. Either maybe they've started something, but haven't done a whole lot yet, or maybe they haven't even started doing anything video related yet. So I would love for you to talk about, first of all, what are the kinds of things that people can do with their video to help really get exposure to their company? Great question. Uh, as you know, being on the internet, the number one, absolutely number one promotional tool is video. But most people don't even have a clue how to properly use a video. The worst thing that they do using a webcam is that they don't talk to the audience that they're speaking to, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Normally, most people are on, uh, on a laptop and uh, normally they'll look at the people that they're talking to on their laptop screen. And I'm going to look down at my laptop screen right now. I've lost uh, contact with every one of your viewers. Mm -hmm. Nobody, including you, thinks that I'm talking to you because I'm looking at you on my laptop. But mm -hmm. now I'm connecting with both you and your viewers. That's the biggest single mistake that people can make as soon as they turn on their webcam. And 99% of everybody I talk to makes that mistake, mm -hmm. including podcast hosts. They'll do the same right. thing. I learned a secret about oh, 10 years ago. 
in how do I could look straight at the people I'm talking to and have them feel like I was talking to them. Mm -hmm. And if any of your uh, listeners and viewers want to learn that secret, I invite them to a free webcam workshop at the URL above my head. I'll spend time showing you how you can connect with your audience and see them. The first three years I started teaching online, I knew from my production experience, I had to look straight into that camera or mm -hmm. they wouldn't feel connected with me. And it drove me crazy because mm -hmm. I couldn't see them. Just a moment ago, you went like that. And mm -hmm. I want to see those reactions. And then I learned this secret. and It literally revolutionized my business. And uh, hopefully it'll help your viewers and listeners if they come and learn how to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So do you recommend like a certain amount of time that they're using a video? Like, should they do really short one to two minutes? Obviously podcasts are longer, but if they're creating video content, is there like an ideal time for how long those should last? It depends on what they're doing. Obviously a podcast is not going to be one or two minutes. If they're giving an elevator pitch, that should be kept very short. It's called an elevator pitch because it doesn't take you very long to get to the floor you're going to, and then you're out of the elevator. I attend a lot of networking sessions, and I get a ton of business for networking sessions giving an elevator pitch. Mm -hmm. And I usually go with 60 seconds as the norm. And normally you don't want to go two, three, four minutes. That's really too long. You want to say what you need to say in a short amount of time with a lot of power that will command attention and leave a link where people can get a hold of you after that elevator pitch, a call to action, if you will. Mm hmm. So what about if you're sharing like a tip from something that's for your business, you know, an ideal client, maybe that's going to see that and you wanted to share some information. Do you have like a time limit maybe for that? Uh, well, it, it, it depends on the time that you have allocated. Uh, mm -hmm. I, if you're just in a normal conversation, you need to keep it short, sweet, and to the point. You don't want to go overboard. There really is no time limit. It depends on the circumstances. Uh, mm -hmm. It may take me five minutes to explain something to show you how to do what I suggested. I can't do that in five minutes. That's why I'm invi inviting people to a workshop where they I can have enough time to explain it. So it really mm -hmm. depends on the circumstances. Right. Well, I think that's one of the questions that's out there. I mean, we're hearing, you know, some people are doing reels and that's less than a minute. And, you know, if you've got something that's really a little bit more meaty, you're going to have to take a few more minutes. And I think people feel obligated to do something in such a short amount of time. So it's good to know you can do something, an elevator pitch, like I said, less than a minute. Maybe there's a video tip you're creating that's going to be a couple minutes. Maybe you're doing a lesson for a course, right? Maybe that's 10 or 15 minutes. You know, it really depends on, on what you really want to get out there. So is there an equipment list maybe you recommend? Obviously, you know, some type of camera, but do you have, you know, some recommendations on what they should be using? Something, you know, is it as simple as if you only have your laptop camera, that's okay? Do you recommend buying something maybe a little bit better? Like, what do you give in terms of tips for that? Great question. Laptop cameras, for the most part, are terrible. They're not very good quality. I have a laptop myself. Now, I'm not using it right now, but I do have a laptop I take when I go on the road. The cameras uh, usually aren't very good on a laptop. And your eye contact, if you've got a laptop, you're lo usually looking down. Your eye contact is not at eye level, and your eyes are never going to sync up with the people you're talking to. Uh, my suggestion is get a, an external camera, put it on a tripod that extends up and down, and have great sound. Never, ever use the sound from a camera, a webcam. Uh, usually, you're going to get terrible sound that way. My best suggestion is for people to use a lavalier microphone that every newscaster you see just has it pinned to them. And the other end needs to be a USB a connection where it'll just go right into your laptop or desktop. And that'll mm -hmm. be real close to your mouth and it'll give you great sound. People will put up with poor video quality, but they won't put up with bad sound. You can get a, a lavalier microphone for 20 bucks on Amazon or any place. 
sells that type of equipment online. Mm -hmm. So what other tips would you share for the listener who is thinking like, yes, I really want to grow my business, you know, grow my income, share my, you know, wealth of ideas with the world, but I'm not sure how to really do that. Like, what would you say to get started? Well, you know, we just, I just held this up. This is the most powerful promotional tool, sales tool, and training tool I've ever seen in my life. I spent most of my life in the television production motion picture industry. There's nothing that can touch this. If you had told me years ago when I had my production company that I could sit here and talk to anybody in the world with a camera and a laptop or a desktop, I thought you were on. <laughs> you needed professional help. That it was impossible in my day, but today you can do it. But you really need to know what you're doing. That's what I teach in my business. I've directed a lot of Hollywood stars in my career, including Academy Award winning actor Charlton Heston. And I tell everybody, if I can direct Moses, I'm not going to have any problem directing you uh, using your webcam. It need direction, if you will. This is something that most people haven't had any formal experience or training on. And that's what I do in, in my career, teaching people how to literally build a business using a webcam. If you've got expertise, knowledge, or experience in a particular field, literally anybody can become a coach using that knowledge, training, or experience that you have with a webcam. The best way to teach people is interactive, where you can talk to them, they can ask questions, you can ask questions. Best way to train anybody or teach anybody with a simple webcam. Mm -hmm. So when you're saying like interaction obviously is ideal, you know, are there maybe platforms that you recommend where they can have like a live meeting and have that interaction? Well, there are many, many platforms. My number one platform is Zoom. The whole world knows Zoom. When I started years ago, nobody knew what Zoom was. And now the whole world knows Zoom. It is, in my not so humble estimation, it's the, the best platform out there. Now, there are a lot of great platforms, uh, Google, Meet, uh, Teams. I could go on and on and on. Uh, but there are many, many good platforms platforms that will allow you to communicate with your audience. I love Zoom. It's my favorite hands down and it's free. People can mm -hmm. get it free and literally talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, and one of the things is obviously the free version is only a 40 minute max. And if you want to have longer meetings, and of course you will invest a little bit more. Yeah, $15. Right. Right. Yeah. It's nothing too expensive. But what about if they want to create like a course or something like that too? Do you have a recommendation for maybe how to go about that and recording the episodes and how to put it all together? Yeah, there are a lot of platforms. Some of them are free, but most platforms for practical experience, you're going to pay something. But that something is very, very little. For somebody to start a business for $20 or $30, $15 a month on Zoom allows you to communicate with anybody in the world. So there's $15. But you can get platforms like System IO, uh, Thrivecard, that has a new program called Learn, where you can put all of your printed material, course material, on that platform and make it available to your audience on Zoom or Google Meet or whatever video platform you're using as well. Video for me is number one, and you wanna back that up with printed material and that would require another platform. And there are just many, many platforms out there to choose from. And many of them you can start for free and then just pay a little bit more to have it involved in your business. Mm -hmm. Well, and as we have all seen, you know, there's a lot of people that will be doing some recordings just of kind of as they're out and about kind of everyday life, nothing is scripted. You're just capturing video. And then on the other side of things in business, you know, a lot of times we have things that are spelled out. We may have a script or at least some bullet points. 
So what would you tell to the person who's listening, who's not sure even like the type of format they should use and how to really start? Do they go more formal and have it written out? Do they do kind of fly by the seat of your pants? You know, like, what do you recommend? Well, if they know if they know their subject, they've got to know their subject. Mm -hmm. If they know their subject, the worst thing that I think anybody can do is start reading their subject. Mm -hmm. Tell it from the heart. You're going to make mistakes. I've already made mistakes in in this interview with you. Uh, That's normal for anyone. Just simply present your subject from the heart, if you will. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't have notes. Uh, You can have a little three by five card. Let me check my notes and then get right back to your subject with eye contact. You want them to feel like you're talking to them. But the worst thing you can do is start reading your training. Nobody's going to have confidence in you if you don't know your subject. Now, again, that's not to say that you can't refer to notes from time to time, but you certainly want to give and instill confidence in the people that you're, uh, you're training. Right. Well, and I think that's where it comes down to is often, especially if it's business specific, you know, and a little bit more of a formal presentation, often we're concerned it has to be perfect, right? And if it's not perfect, we're going to make a mistake and people are going to judge us. But like you said, if you're just reading a script, it's going to sound very robotic. It's not going to be engaging. So it's okay if you make a slight little mishap. And of course, things could be edited if necessary, you know, and so I think that was a great tip to even share is like, you know, we don't have to have perfection. People often forgive many things, you know, that we think are like these horrible mistakes. So I love that you talked about that. You know, you could go to YouTube right now and just type in Warren Buffett public speaking and you will find on video Warren Buffett tells the whole world when he was entering college, he was so frightened to get into any kind of a public speaking situation. He would literally throw up. He was so scared of public speaking. What did he do? He did what all successful people do. He confronted his fears. He entered a public speaking course, and he said it changed his life. Mm -hmm. Literally changed his life. He was scared, and it took a little time, but it's something that anybody can do. They Mm -hmm. just need to have enough confidence to make mistakes. That's the best way for anyone to learn. By making mistakes, you, oh, boy, I don't want to do that again. And you learn from those mistakes. That's the way anyone learns, including Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. Right. And a final question that I have with the time that we have today, I would love for you just to talk slightly about like the editing, what might they need to have to put, you know, any little episodes together, whether again, it's a short little video they want to put on YouTube, or even if it's a podcast or a training. Well, you mentioned YouTube, but you can go on YouTube and you can go on Zoom, put a little video together. And when you're putting it together, you're looking down. Now, where's my record button? You don't want that on the video. You want to trim that. And when you're finished, you say, thank you very much. And then you're looking for the stop button and you don't want that on the video. You can go to YouTube and you can trim it. Get rid of the stuff at the beginning. Get rid of the stuff at the end. It doesn't cost you a penny. It's free. Mm -hmm. It's on YouTube, trimming your own videos. And you can go to uh, Macintosh has uh, their own uh, program uh, that's uh, free. Mm -hmm. Is it iMovie? Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Now I use Windows and uh, Windows also has a free program. Just type in on Google search free editing software and you're going to come up with a ton of free software that you can get. Now, I I use more expensive software, but anybody can get simple video. Literally, they can do it themselves. It's just a little training. You can go on YouTube and get instruction for free. It doesn't cost anybody anything to have the necessary ingredients to start their own business. Right. And I think that's the main thing to come away with is when you're going to start, there are free options. Over time, you may decide you want to upgrade to some paid versions that have other little bells and whistles and things like that. But just don't be afraid to start, get, you know, out there getting some content and then, you know, looking at what you might need later. So I do know you said that the top of your uh, screen is 
one of the giveaways maybe that people want to be able to do. Are there any other ways you would want people to connect with you if they have additional questions? Well, definitely go to the URL right above my head, companyflix.com forward slash webcam workshop. You can spend 90 minutes with me free, absolutely mm -hmm. free. I will teach you some things using a webcam that will literally revolutionize your business or revolutionize anything you do for the rest of your life using a webcam. It's a fun workshop and you will go away learning things you never even dreamed of. Uh, <laughs> and if something ne anyone needs to contact me, they can use my email, uh, Gary at companyflix.com. Uh, Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being a guest on my show and sharing your expertise on this topic. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Sandy. You're a wonderful host. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you found the episode interesting and that it answered some questions about build a six-figure business with nothing but a simple webcam. If you have any additional questions or comments, be sure to reach out to Gary or you can send us a message at media at abandp.com. And would you please share our show information with those you know? I'd really appreciate your support. I hope you can join us for our next topic. And please remember you can connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And my website is abandp.com. You can find the podcast posted on multiple favorite podcast platforms, including Google, TuneIn, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. And would you please leave a review on your favorite platform? Thank you. Until next time, have a great day. Thank you for listening to Biz Help For You. Please join your host, Candy Messer, again next time. Have a terrific day.